Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Morocco TV. Fake alpha male tries and fails to intimidate man. <laughs> Please like and subscribe below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. If you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean fing sh to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a fing clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb fing ass. Okay. But this is the whole fing point. You have a weakness. Change it, motherfucker. How the fuck are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out? They're not going to listen to you. You're sitting there possessing shit that they don't want to have. So, I mean, this is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. Motherfucker. When you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray area. You have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. And that's the worst thing about these motherfuckers. They try to give you relationship advice. You got a borderline Miami 2. That's like a fucking Mississippi 6. Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a 2, motherfucker. Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm going to put the measuring stick to their motherfucking face. They better just watch what they say around a motherfucker who's beating them in every area. You better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better fucking be rolling some sick shit. That's what I like. I, I grew up hussing. There's be rims on my goddamn phantom. Go out front. That ain't, no, that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal shit. F that. Chicks got upgrades. Done. Well said, Wes. God damn. With the fire. God damn. With the bullshit. Right? This guy sounds like an absolute donor. He's saying if you don't have a six pack and a fast car, then you're a loser and less successful than him. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. There's plenty of men out there that don't have those things and are more high value and successful than this Muppet. And I will say to some extent, there's some things I agree with. I've said before that I think men should try and be physically and mentally strong. And to also have enough money to be financially stable. But I don't think success is all about money and materialism. Because without a family and real people around you, what's the point? My yep. definition of success is... No, I, I agree with uh, Morocco's take on it. Family is a big thing for me. And the, if you're successful and you're lonely in your pedestal of success, is it really that worth it? You don't have people that you can trust around you. You don't have people that love you, that genuinely love you other than for your money. That's a shitty life. Is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy, but I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater do you have than money? the person. Does, does he have money? No. He, do you have money? No. No, no I don't have, I don't do have, have? I don't have money. money? <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Why is, why is money much, valuable? I'm a, do you have why, money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking, do you have money? I just said no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are? Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, bro. <laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not, I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I just a Ferrari. really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably. That's disgusting. That, that, to me, is quite disgusting for men to be asking each other how much money you got to try to, like, prove that you're better than somebody else. That's crazy. Five, the five bucks in my pocket, not much uh, more. See, does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. Uh, that's, yeah. That takes a lot He's of money. All right. He's doing all right. Okay. Now, me personally, I do think money is valuable because I didn't grow up with a lot of it. And I've understood that it gives you freedom and it allows you to take care of people that you love which is a great thing. However, I don't think money makes the man, and I think if you think you're better than another man because you've got more money than him, you're proof that money doesn't make you high value or smart. I also yeah. think you're probably gonna 100%. be a lonely old man one day if you put materialistic shit and money before your family. <clears throat> I'd rather be surrounded by my family than expensive objects. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say that? Why must you have the thing because you, because before you hang on, hang on, hang on, let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed because to I ask the question? I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how? why can't you ask the question? Okay, so... That's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody, how come if I don't have X thing, 
because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I people. I was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, people, I don't know who you are. Even yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth. And so the thing is, is no, it's no, not, definitely not. Definitely yeah, not. Def, definitely, no, definitely so. Not. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so what's the distinction? After you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you look at these studies done on this, it does not I don't hugely, fit no fucking studies. It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the fuck bro, you are? Why, why, why well, don't look you at, even are let you me proud? If you Can't even let the man talk. The man has been respectful the whole time, trying to talk, trying to put his point out, and you keep interrupting him just like a freaking modern woman. Look in the mirror. Would you guys say this motherfucker <laughs> proud of who the f he is that's a Start bag with of the trash homonyms, dude. Pull your personal attack, because i've been tell me your shame because i've been to in prison insult. jesus christ because look i've been at to you, prison bro. you got ten inch arms and tits <laughs> men don't have tits no guys. they go to prison get your ass hold beat on, 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 you think that that's guys, better guys, you think guys. that that's better okay. let's let him give his his definition of success and then... having tits and ten inch arms let's, is what a man is let's you let guys. Him, let's let him please get don't his... listen to that see look when you meet someone that challenges his points and doesn't back down to him he starts getting angry and throwing insults all right and that's a sign of a weak man with no emotional control and you've automatically lost a debate when you start to do this and make it personal tits. anyway back to where i was at boobs yeah Okay, prison. But anyway, if you want, Fuck yeah. if you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And to take yes, care of I do think. So apparently, this guy used to be in prison, and now he's come out and he's made it his whole personality. Dude, I don't know about this guy, but I know other guys that have made mistakes when they're young and they've come out and they've done really well. Not all criminals are bad people, and not all bad people are criminals. So I will back the donut up on that one. However, I will say the delivery by Andrew Wilson was still funny and the bull guy's response was still dumb. You can't properly take care of your family when you're in a jail cell. I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society and I do think that true wealth is the family. Being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's and then when you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. My dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that is just a make product. An I, dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're going to attack okay. You're going to attack right, me? All right, all right, all right. No, all right, all right. Dude, all nobody's all right. Do you usually attack this armed men in I Florida? Talk, <laughs> you, dude. All right. He called. Look Let's at just... your goddamn self. Okay, guys, well, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a guys, pathetic guys. mother. Okay, let's, well, let's chill out I'll, a little I'll... bit, man, a little bit. This is not what men let's look them, like. Let's let him what do they look his, like? Point. Fucking shit. What do they look like? Bald prisoners? Yeah, fuck, is that what bro. they look like? The, 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 right, this is the problem him, in let's... society. It's people like this. I, I think it's funny that he keeps pushing on the going to prison thing. I mean, I've been to jail myself quite a few times, like twice, you know, one for a double murder and then one for drugs, but neither here nor there you know, and yes i do agree with Araco. people can reform but people do have bad judgment so even me i had some pretty bad judgment when i was younger that's why i got, <laughs> went to jail so him andrew kind of pointing that out i think it's valid i think it's very valid you know a person's past does help dictate their future in a sense and their 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 past behaviors matters so if this guy went to jail, what did he do to go to jail? What did I do to go to jail? You know, like people have to ask some of these questions sometimes. Yes, it, people can change and people can be successful and do the better afterwards. I'm not saying you can't. Like, look at me. I'm doing okay. <laughs> but I get what Andrew's pointing at too. Like I would question someone that's been to jail and now they're successful and then trying to push this kind of thing to everybody. But like, that wasn't how you lived throughout all your life though think they could talk to someone like me like that they really think they can he, he knows he wouldn't do shit about it and that's the problem i mean you're the one who got hostile for having a difference of opinion dude pretty much Tra check it out you started coming at me about some other shit jesus yeah. christ men don't have we can agree on that physically men he, usually have he hair has, we can agree on that too he has physically. crossed over <laughs> Gender barriers. He's just way too quick and smart for him, which is now making the audience laugh at the Muppet. So he's only gonna get angrier. He said before something like, people need to understand who they're speaking to. He needs to understand which state he's in and understand that people are strapped up 
and his muscles were not protecting from a bullet. Nope. If you're not contributing to a moral society and you're only contributing to a consumerist society, a materialistic society, that's the only thing you're going to worship. And tons of people worship material things they and do. flash it around, but it's vacant. It's spiritually vacant. The craziest thing is, if you looked at the people who are supposedly materialistic, We've helped more people than these guys who. Why is helping? People. What is? Why We've is helping? Wait, wait, wait. Why lives. is helping important to you? I mean, because I know what it's like to be at the bottom. So okay. So, we, are you helping someone if you give them an expensive watch? Why do you think we just do that? You must not know who you're talking. I asked you to. a question. You didn't answer it. I give them the habits to build themselves. What did I ask you though? I said, am I helping them if I give them an expensive watch? I give them habits, a mindset. So the I answer teach is no. To operate. So if you give no. them... Well, you guys are assuming we're only answer, doing no, stuff no. about materialism. Can a man answer a direct question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. These f***ing... These characters The answer is no. Fuck. See, look, once again, he's put on the spot. He can't answer a question, so he starts to insult him. Look at these f***ing Karens. Go ahead, dude. buddy. How the f***? It's funny because, like, this whole Fresh and Fit podcast debate here is, you know, you know alpha type guys. I would consider actually um andrew somewhat of an alpha in a sense uh, just how well he does he's good at debating and in his field and his field of knowledge he's quite good at it you know he he's not maybe a traditional alpha but what we always think about is alpha but this man stands on his ground and he knows what the fuck he's talking about and he believes in what the fuck he's talking about did these guys even get up here why would you bring me here with people like you didn't this? answer the question dude did, did <laughs> Shit, we got different of, of opinion here. Right. Okay, go ahead, Miguel. I'm, this is why they split it like this. This, <laughs> did, I'm sorry you got. I'm sorry you got put over there. No, I know, you I know. don't really fit over there. We need some other little fucking lame douche over there. Oh man, I, man. I still on, answer man. the question. Is giving what, someone what, an expensive you, watch? Would any of you guys really hang out with these guys? This is not an argument. Like Jesus Christ. They're skilled. They're skilled with some things. Ah, Whoever hey, fucking said hey, that. Hang on, that bass guy right there just said, "Hell yes, yeah, shut." Up. That's hilarious. You're awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, man. The whole crowd says, yeah, we'd hang out with them. Different yeah, guys this, on the this panel. is why most people don't invite me, guys, please. Guys. Different guys yeah, on the panel. Yeah, we can tell. Have different <laughs> We can tell his tits are all jiggling. He's got like a half a fucking jelly donut. Hey, bro, your toupee, it's still back there in the back. Go get it. I, I shaved my head. You, you sure? They, are you sure you, you okay, shaved okay, your head? Okay, or? okay, okay. We got all right. Chill. Go ahead, Miguel. <laughs> bro, George Michael oh, wants his pants back. Dude, God damn, look at whose shirt is that? Dude, that your your fucking mom bought you that, your aunt bought you that for fucking Thanksgiving dinner. And what's wrong with that if your aunt and your mom bought it for Thanksgiving dinner and you like the shirt and you want to rep that your mom bought it? Like what is like where is the insult coming from? Like well, how is this an insult in a sense? It's like Oshkosh Bagosh or some shit, bro. <laughs> welcome Jesus to the, welcome to the roast, roast session today. Dude, any of you guys oh, who it, so holy like shit. Group. <laughs> if those are men to you guys I mean who's gonna invite him anywhere who wants to be around a raging insecure little donor and I think he thought the crowd were laughing with him but they're laughing at him he yep. also thought he was gonna bully these guys and make them look like idiots in front of everyone but it's been the other way around you can just tell this other guy Andrew Wilson is not scared of him at all he just thinks he's a fool and he's mocking him it's the thing about materialism you're you yeah you worship it guys, dude you these worship guys it must have grown up with money bro you worship who material with money chase money the worship who materialism Shut the f up. You, you don't worship know me, you it. I can lame. tell. I can tell by your speaking. How the f do you think you Listen know Listen how reactive you are if someone shave says. Shave your goddamn arms. See, you can't bro. deal with it. You can't deal with it. Why would I shave my arms on the man? Look at these pale f What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Shave your body. Aren't you a man? Look at this guy, dude. dude okay, let's let Miguel finish this real dude, quick. Let's post these guys. Shave chicks. your pubes. Hey, post these guys' right, guys, women guys, back guys, here. Guys, 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 guys. I want to see these guys, guys, women. Let's put guys, these trolls guys, back guys, here. Guys, guys, women guys, are not guys. objects hey, in our hey, world. Guys, we're not guys, 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 relax. I've never heard more relax. lies in my life. Relax. This is one thing I don't like. Wes, Wes, Wes. It's people man. who lie. Wes. You're crying. Nice. Let's just no, move no, on. No, 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 We're going to continue. Gonna move on. I We're going to move on. I can make you cry if you want. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. I could if you... Wow. This is really shows that some of the people we follow, some of the people we watch, like I think West guy, people, a lot of people follow him. He has a lot of um, subs and stuff. Not everybody is who they say they are. You know, this is where I always say, you know, you listen to people. You listen to everybody. You don't have to take everybody's advice. You don't have to take everybody's whatever opinions into consideration. If it's useful, 
take it in. If it's not, just flush it out. It's perfectly fine. Not everything I say is going to matter to you guys, nor you guys believe everything that I say in a sense. I'm sure because you don't know me. You don't truly know me, which makes sense. So if I say something that is useful, that might help you out in life, use it. If I don't, eh, just throw it away. It's, that's how I always felt about things. That's how my father has always told me, you know, listen to everyone. You have to listen to everybody's advice. They're not People don't give you advice for no reason. They either give it to you advice because you see you're doing bad or they care for you. That's why they gave you the advice in the first place. So just take it in and understand most of the time when people give you advice, it's coming from a, a caring standpoint, not trying to dog you in any way. If you want, we're gonna no, move on. It's all you got is threats. And we're gonna move drink. on, guys. We're gonna I'm move a on. Speaker. Oh, we're gonna move on, guys. We're gonna move on. At least okay, they can, answer, can answer a direct question. Guys, 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 guys. Oh my god. We're gonna move god. on. How did go you Miguel. bring me here? I thought this was like some real West, shit. West, West, West. We gotta chill, man. We gotta chill. I'll dip. West, I'll go ahead. All right, what's success, right? Freeing the slaves. That's what it is. He tried to make a fool out of them the whole time and ended up looking like a fool himself. It's like he's trying to give this impression that he's a strong, high value, successful man. But no high value man acts like that or has that little emotional control. Whenever his points were challenged, he crumbled and insulted him, which makes you look like more of a donor. It's like this Socrates quote, when debate is lost, slander becomes a tool of the loser. Shout outs to Araco. You know, it's funny because I used to be bullied all the time when I was a kid. You know, after I came here when I was five. I didn't know English. I dressed weird compared to all the other kids because we were immigrants. We didn't have much money, so we bought whatever clothes. I had a lot of handy-downs. I had a pink backpack in elementary school because it was my cousin's backpack, and they didn't, we didn't have money to buy a new backpack, so I just grabbed my, my cousin's backpack. I got made fun of all the time. But as I grew up, I learned, oh, it's just words. You know, people don't really have anything to really say because they either feel like you're different from them or you don't like they, they, they that you're weird or whatever it is so they have to try to make fun to try to understand why you're that way it, it's okay you know people we can tell when people are weak the ones that try to bully people all the time and try to intimidate people like this because they're scared themselves themselves inside please subscribe down below i really appreciate that and catch you